this video, we're going to talk about two special cases of lines, and that is horizontal lines and vertical lines. We'll start by revisiting the definition of a linear equation in two variables. A linear equation in standard form is given by ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are just real numbers. At least one of a or b must be non-zero. For example, we could have the equation 2x plus 3y equals 6, a is 2, b is 3, c is 6. We could have the equation, we could have the case where the a value is 0, so something like 0x plus 3y equals 6, or just 3y equals 6. Or we could have the case where the b value equals 0, so something like 2x plus 0y equals 6, or simplifying 2x equals 6. All of these are acceptable forms of a line. And that's what we mean when we say that at least one of a or b must be non-zero. It's okay for one of them to be zero. Now, in the case where a was zero, like that 0x plus 3y equals 6 example, then we get down to 3y equals 6, or simplifying just a little bit further, dividing both sides by 3, we would land on y equals 2. We end up basically with y equals some number in our equation, in this case 2. This is the graph of a horizontal line because the y value is always the same. In this case, the y value would always be 2 no matter what the x value is. That horizontal line is the one where the rate of change has flatlined. It has a slope of 0. In the opposite edge case, where b equals 0, like our case 2x plus 0y equals 6, if we were to continue simplifying 2x equals 6 and then dividing both sides by 2, x equals 3, we have an equation where x equals some number. And this is the graph of a vertical line because the x value is now always the same and that's going to make a vertical line for us. A vertical line is one where the rate of change has become so steep it is essentially infinite. It has an undefined slope. Let's go ahead and graph these three lines on the axis below. We'll start with that horizontal line at y equals 2. My y value is always 2. I'm going to pull out my trusty ruler here and go ahead and draw that graph. y equals 2. The y value is always 2. So that is the line y equals 2, a nice horizontal line. Now I'll go ahead and draw the next line, which is x equals 3. So my x value is always 3. And then finally, we're going to draw the line 2x plus 3y equals 6. Now, let's actually use that slope-intercept form to do this. It'll be good practice for us. So let's start with 2x plus 3y equals 6. We're going to solve for y, so we want to get the 3y by itself. We're going to subtract 2x from both sides. So 2x plus 3y minus 2x equals 6 minus 2x. That leaves us with 3y equals, and let me just rearrange these two terms, negative 2x plus 6. That'll get us a little closer to the y equals mx plus b form. And then finally, we're going to divide by 3. So we'll do 3y over 3 equals negative 2x plus 6 over 3. And that leaves us with y equals, and then splitting this up into two fractions, we would have negative 2 thirds x plus 6 over 3, which is really 2. So we've written this as two fractions negative 2x over 3 and 6 over 3 to get the 2. Okay, now we've got uh, y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 2. Let's go ahead and graph that. I'm going to choose a different color for this graph. I'll do this one in orange. Um, so my y-intercept is 2. I'll go ahead and plot that. And then my slope is negative 2 over 3. So I'm going to go down 2, 1, 2, and then right 3, 1, 2, 3. And that gives me another point. Go ahead and graph that line. This is a decreasing line. It passes through uh, the y-intercept 0, 2, and the x-intercept 3, 0. 
Now I'd like you to pause this video and go ahead and write the equations of the two lines shown below. All right, hopefully you've given these two a try. The first line is a horizontal line and the y value is always 30. It crosses the y-axis at 30. And so no matter what x is, y is 30. And that's why we call this the line y equals 30. The second line is a vertical line and it hits the x-axis at x equals negative 2. The x value is always negative 2 no matter what the y value is. And that's why we call this vertical line x equals negative 2.